Beautiful, thank you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Honorable Chairperson, distinguished panelists, the uh, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, our topic of discussion of this session is on resource mobilization in the context of South-South and triangular cooperation. Here we have three key, uh, three, four key words in my opinion. One is definitely resource mobilization. And we are, all of us are talking on resource mobilization. But side by side, we are talking also on South, South cooperation and also uh, triangular cooperation, and which is uh, you know, an ad end in the middle. Until unless we see that end, you know, the South-South and triangular cooperation, SSTC will not come. This is very important. We are talking about South-South cooperation and triangular cooperation. Because in a holistic way, if we see it, we'll see it uh, that way that is, you know, we need South-South cooperation for resource mobilization. Also, triangular cooperation for uh, resource mobilization. Triangular co uh, uh, cooperation, what I will say is that not necessarily bilateral or multilateral agencies, it is beyond that. What we are, it can be foundations, it can be, uh, I mean, uh, private organizations, it can be other entities, those who has the capacity and willingness to contribute or participate in the mandate of uh, uh, PPD or ICPD or SDG. So this is something maybe in a holistic fashion we need to see it rather than that of looking at it just a project or something we are going to uh, sub, uh, uh, mobilize support for that. Uh, keynote address uh, has given us very clear guidelines on that, you know, and there are a few things she has mentioned in the keynote address is that, that is, you know, we need to collaborate with each other. We need to coordinate our efforts, the way I see it, the, you know, and we need to also, uh, uh, I mean, focus our attentions on resource mobilization. This is a priority area for long-term sustainability. Uh, now, I, what I will say is that, that is, you know, in my presentations, you know, I prepared it earlier, so, in, but I, I will skip many of these things. You know, what I want to see is that, that is, you know, the primary role of South-South uh, co uh, cooperation is implemented, when South-South uh, cooperation is implemented with the support of a northern part, uh, partner, it is referred to as triangular cooperation. The UN's working definition of triangular cooperation is southern driven partnership between two or more developing countries supported by a developed country uh, or countries or multilateral organization to implement of implement the, of the, the implementation to implement of development cooperation programs and projects. So this is the UN definition and also what I have mentioned earlier that is, you know, we need to broaden it uh, by uh, adding other uh, stakeholders. If we look at the resource mobilization, resource mobilization for SSTC in a competitive environment would require effective fundraising strategies as mentioned by other panelists and also stakeholders engagement and showcasing project impact to attract funding. Innovative solutions in the, so during the last, uh, I mean, uh, six or six sessions, you know, we have seen that is, you know, there are many innovative ideas were presented and shared uh, with us. So those can be showcased to policy briefs and other types of, uh, I mean, uh, SBC, social and uh, uh, behavioral change communication activities so that our networking activities, that will really change the environment. It's not just keeping us within ourselves and sort of discussing among ourselves 
will not do anything. Uh, the next point I want to highlight is that global resources are shrinking. That needs to be recognized. And also priorities are also changing. When the ICPD was developed, the priorities was uh, the health. It was a big priority, but it's no longer true. The traditional development parts, uh, partners, and this is also in the keynote address, our, uh, she has uh, clearly highlighted that is you know, the scenario. But I would uh, like to add that, that the traditional development partners, instead of increasing their flow of resources to southern countries, merely accounts for around 3.17% of the estimated 5 to 11 trillion that is needed to achieve SDG are finding difficulty even to meet their commitments that they, really, uh, they repeatedly promised and only six countries could, uh, could actually meet their 0.7% of GNI as promised. The need for increasing resource mobilization, both funds and technological transfers of means of implementation of goal uh, 17 of SDG is imperative to achieve SDG. So this is something needs to be recognized while we are talking about resource mobilization. Uh, you know, the way I see it, there is, you know, SSTC uh, is a vital resource mobilization tool for development partners priority program. Here, you know, keyword is development partners priority program because each partner has their own priority, even within the context of broader HPN, health, population, and nutrition. You know, when we talk, they have their own priorities. So we'll have to, when we talk, uh, approach ADB, they have their priority. When we talk, about, uh, talk to WHO, they have their priority. When we talk to UNFPA, they have their priorities. And we'll have to somehow integrate that in our approaches and strategies. And that we have, uh, that we'll need to do and PPD as an organization will have to think. One thing I will say that is, you know, for resource mobilization, you know, at the beginning I want to say, until unless you have a business development wing within the organization PPD, probably just, as a, you know, working through a programmatic approach and uh, also program and business development uh, together probably will not uh, mobilize much resources. So you should create a, uh, an unit within the PPD so that which will really help uh, in mobilizing resources. Also, uh, uh, you know, resource mobilization of SSTC in a competitive environment would also require effective fundraising strategies, stakeholders engagement, as I have mentioned, uh, and showcasing projects. This is very crucial. And so the way I see PPD, is the PPD may consider itself as a catalyst for of change. You know, it's not necessary, it cannot do, it cannot substitute, uh, uh, you know, it cannot be like, uh, like uh, big large organizations created, but it can be a catalyst of change. And in doing that, many suggestions were made by different uh, panelists and others. Is one is capacity building, which has been highlighted by all of us a broader uh, cha uh, choice of support leading to horizontal partnership, and that's very important because a broader choice of support leading to horizontal partnership, if we can do it through SSTC, uh, you know, that will be really, that will attract donors, and uh, the partnership is a key one. Uh, the cost effectiveness. Again, we'll have to demonstrate that is any program we'll do, you know, there should be a cost tree and there we should show that that is this is the program uh, will be cost effective, and that is only for, uh, f uh, possible if we can have uh, a partnership with, say, country level entities, those who are effective and those who have demonstrated programs. If we can link with those programs as a part of the network of PPD, that will work. It's not creating a, a new organization and supporting and partnering will not work, in my opinion, based on my experience. Demand-driven character, uh, uh, charter. 
uh, I think this is very important also given the scarce resources and the horizontal relations between the partners, SSTC is more aligned with recipients' priorities and needs. And that's again, adaptability is another thing. Southern knowledge is very important. Uh, uh, you know, I, I will not go in details. The methodology we are thinking is, you know, some sort of needs assessment and matching uh, needs to be done for any uh, new initiatives and all that. Developing effective partnership, as I have mentioned earlier, knowledge sharing platforms. This is very important. I mentioned at the beginning, this is key for anything, you know. And also, I'm suggesting PPD should consider having an indirect cost for long-term sustainability, which can be indirect cost if we can build in in the program that is, you know, which is not project-oriented, you know, I'm call, not calling it is an overhead cost, but similar to overhead, you know, there is a difference between overhead and indirect cost. So it should be an indirect cost, those could be, and that should be created. And as suggested by one of the speaker earlier, there is a trust fund or endowment funds needs to be, I will say endowment fund, not the trust fund. Endowment funds can be created, and that will be much more uh, productive for PPD. Uh, I will say, uh, a national, each country should have an S, uh, SSTC strategy. It's not one for every country. You know, the, a broad umbrella policy can be there, but each country should have national uh, SSTC. Regional cooperation also strategy needs to be built up, and also monitoring and evaluation framework they, uh, needs to be uh, worked out uh, 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 from the very beginning for each program, projects, and strategies and uh, country-level strategies. Uh, SSTC TC presents a unique opportunity for political leaders, uh, which is uh, advocacy and uh, raise awareness, because without their political leader support, we cannot gain anything. We cannot go, uh, 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 go further. Uh, integrate policies and also incentive, incentivize engagement. And that strategy is crucial for a successful program. You'll have to incentivize, uh, you know, matching fund or anything we do it, but that should be uh, co considered as an incentive for the, any good program that should be provided incentives or linking up. Uh, you know, PPD can partner with others, participate in bids and others in the, uh, the uh, both in for the, from the bilateral or multilateral organizations, even for foundations, those who are globally provided. Also, in-country CSR funds can be mobilized, and also industrial uh, and other organizations needs to be approached for uh, in-country mobilization of research. Because government is in support of PPD, that's a unique exam I mean, strength. And when the government is in support, gov uh, the political leaders are in support, you know, accessing local level resources is also crucial. And if we can show some participation here, in, uh, the incentives can be through matching grants and others. You know, uh, forming strategic partnership, as I have mentioned, supporting in impact investments, uh, enhancing visibility and recognition. Because this is something also, any good success story needs to be highlighted, shared in the network, you know, share, uh, shared in the, and the way I'm seeing is that, the, you know, uh, 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 the ICT technology, particularly in this country, we are uh, calling it uh, smart technologies needs to be adopted as part of the, uh, uh, any of the programmatic uh, innovations and activities. Private sector involvement is crucial, as I have mentioned, uh, both through CSR, PPPs, and showcasing investment opportunities. And that is possible in the conclusion, what I will say, effective resource mobilization within the framework of SSTC is essential for achieving ICBD 30 plus goals and the 2030 sustainable development agenda. Together, through SSTC, we can build stronger partnership, enhance capacity, and achieve sustainable development goals that leave no one behind. Let us continue to innovate, uh, collaborative, and commit to a future where SSTC plays a central role in creating a more 
equitable and sustainable world. Thank you very much. Joy Bangla. Thank you.